So what you're looking at here is a list of GitHub actions that we run against our production code base before you're able to merge a PR. And I want to kind of share with you what a production system may look like. Obviously your mileage may vary. Some teams don't do any checks at all. Some teams do a ton of checks. It all boils down to how important you think testing is and doing automated testing to verify what you're about to push the prod isn't going to break stuff for your users. I'll kind of just go through these one by one and explain why we do them. So for the first one, build API TypeScript, we basically run a TypeScript build over our project to verify that we don't have a bunch of TypeScript errors and your PR will fail if you have too many errors. I think there's some other TypeScript checks down below, which I'll talk about. But overall, we want to make sure people aren't accidentally committing like a TypeScript any or any type of low quality TypeScript code. That's kind of what that check helps prevent. Over here, we have end to end Cypress. So Cypress is a test runner. There's also another one called Playwright, which basically loads up this like Chrome emulator and clicks through your Chrome browser, follows some tests and commands. And so we use Cypress to verify if you were to spin up this entire project in a containerized environment on GitHub Actions, does everything still work? Can you still log in? Can you create XYZ? Can you read XYZ? We use Cypress to kind of verify that and we call that our end to end testing. In our particular example, our application is split into like a public and a private side. So the public also has its own set of tests that go through the UI, just verify some things. So those are what those two are. Cypress end to end smoke test local. So the reason we say smoke tests is after you merge the PR and all this code is deployed, we run a series of smoke tests using Cypress against the deployed Amazon environment. I would say the smoke tests aren't too extensive, but they do just help verify that after everything is deployed and everything is hooked up, can you still connect to your database? Can you still send out emails? Can you still do X, Y, and Z? So very important to have smoke tests before you switch over. We do blue green deployments. So we do the smoke test over the deploying color. We verify that the new deploying color is all good to go. And once it is, we will route traffic over to the so now we have end-to-end -end Pally. So Pally is another form of testing you can run over your UIs just to make sure that you have your accessibility in line. So you want to make sure that you know, inputs have labels and they have proper HTML4 tags. Make sure that your contrast on every page is good. Make sure that you have proper ARIA labels on things that might need them. So ARIA we run over our code base just to make sure that we are meeting accessibility checks. And we do that against the private and the public UI. Um, down here we have some node API unit tests, right? So we have unit tests over all of our code. We have a lot of unit tests. We have a lot of integration tests. And here we're just checking the API. There's also another one over here, client unit tests. When you see this four comma zero, that means that we have so many tests that we had to actually concurrently run them. So we have a script that goes through all of our tests. It chunks them up into four different runners and then it runs those. Okay, so you'll see they're kind of out of order, but you'll see like here's one and then down here you'll see another one. And so that just helps speed things up because once you get more and more tests, your entire pipeline starts to slow down. So typically you split your tests and you run them concurrently to speed some stuff up. We also run linters. So whenever you're dealing with JavaScript and TypeScript, it's very easy to write some sloppy code. Linters just help make sure that your code is a certain quality. So that's why we run those. We have a lot of bash scripts in our project, so we do run shell check over our scripts to make sure that we are doing bash scripting the best way, at least according to these, these linters. The shared stuff, that's just like some shared code that we have between the client and the server, and we run some unit tests over those. So here's the probably the most important test suite here. This is the client integration test. So we basically spin up the entire application inside a container, inside a GitHub Actions. That includes the API, the UI, um, a mock DynamoDB service, a mock S3 service, a mock open search cluster. And, and so the integration tests verify that like if all this stuff is kind of hooked together, do all of the functionality, does it still work? So we have 12 workers that are kind of processing on this. Um, these integration tests do take a while because they do have to connect to all these different services. Although they are kind of like stub or mock services that you run, it still takes time. So that's kind of what the client integration tests are doing. Um, same thing with the client integration public. Um, there's a TypeScript reduce errors check. So when we started this project, we started with JavaScript, right? And then at some point we decided we need to switch everything over to TypeScript because it'd be easier. And when you just switch all your JavaScript files over to TypeScript, you end up getting tons and tons and tons of errors, right? So this is a task that someone on the team wrote to basically verify every PR has to be reducing the TypeScript errors. Okay? I, we don't want people to keep on pushing new TypeScript errors. We want that to slowly get down. So that's what that check is doing. 
I'm not sure what this one is, honestly. I have to look into it. It must be a new one. So verify PDFs. In our system, we have to generate a bunch of PDFs. So we have like different templates, and those templates need to be generated based on you know parameters we throw into it. And as you're updating dependencies, sometimes the PDFs can just get completely broken. Like the images are shifted or the styling is bad. So we have a suite of basically image comparisons where we generate a PDF, we take screenshots of every page, and we compare that to what we should expect. So that's what that's doing just to make sure that, hey, if someone were to update PDF lib or PDF JS or Puppeteer, that we don't see a bunch of broken PDFs anymore. I think into in Cypress already talked about. We have unit tests. Okay. These are, again, just like the parallel runners. I don't think there's anything new here. As you can see, we have quite a lot of them. And then at the very bottom, we have something that says check coverage. So again, we do unit testing and we have thresholds set up in our code base to make sure that the O coverage for unit testing doesn't get below a certain threshold. I think ours is like 94 or 95% coverage. It's a little bit too high in my opinion, but that's kind of what we do. So if you ever make a code change, this will run, make sure that you're not like pushing untested code because we expect all code that comes in to be tested by either a unit test, an integration test, or end-to-end -end test so that other developers on the team don't potentially break stuff in the future and cause issues for our users. All right, so that is about it. That's all of the checks that we run on our PRs. You might see this and say, wow, this is a lot. Or you might see this and say, yeah, this kind of lines up with what we do on our project. But I just wanted to share this with you all in case you wanted a better idea of like what, what checks are actually ran on a production-like system. Hopefully this helps you out. I think this has helped make this project very successful. We have very little bugs, very little downtime. And honestly, my main takeaway from all this, my main takeaway, integration tests are by far the most important. If you want to skip all this other stuff, you can do that. I would say make sure you have at least some type of integration test that verify when your system is basically hooked up or some type of mock hookup that stuff works the way it should. All right, that's it. Have a good day. Happy coding.